then keep them covered. Great advice thinking ahead and keep moving your appendages i think that's great what we what dr hoffinger was referring to cast covers has mitts dry and mitts cozy for hands so it's it's like a big old oven mitt but we've designed it for convenience as well as function and comfort and it has a side velcro closure and there's two different versions there's the mitts cozy which is fleece fabric but then there's also the mitts dry which has denier think backpack uh, duffel bag material and so it repels water so if you're walking to the bus or skiing uh, i'm not going to ask and you need a, a mitts dryer mitts cozy uh this repels uh rain and water not for immersion in water but for repelling and so those have uh we've had those out for a few years now they're big sellers what we have for leg cast is a, the similar material uh, we have the slickers is what we call it for leg casts and it's a, it's the same material as the, it is the denier material so it is weather resistant and it is just to protect your cast and your toes during if you have a leg cast and then we have our boot guard extreme which is for the orthopedic walking boot and the tread of the boot is exposed leaving it ex uh, safe for the patient as they're walking with their boot and so the entire boot is covered protecting the boot as well as the toes so we don't get think about with uh you know as a pediatric orthopedist it's the thing we always talk about that kids are going to find a way to get it wet get it dirty get involved and so if you've got an arm cast and you're a kid and you want to go outside and play in the snow um plan ahead i mean you're not going to keep them from going into the snow because right. they'll find a way so whether it's a combination of um the plastic cast cover mm -hmm. and then the denier one something on the outside because you know of course kids don't get freezing cold like we do but just just protect it and then th then they're going to be able to play my son when he had something we had we had to improvise was quite a long time ago so he could play in the sand because there's no way he was not going to play in the sand at the beach <laughs> you can go outside and play in the snow when you plan ahead you want to keep them keep it dry it doesn't have to be again snow isn't going to be like immer immersing it in water so right. you get some snow on it but you've got a cover on top of it and you're usually going to be just fine you might need to use a little bit of a blow dryer when you get inside to warm it up and dry it out a little bit but it's not going to be the same as if you immerse it in a pool